All right, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So I am quite excited about these uh, because these were one of my original baits that I used when I started getting back into lure fishing many years ago. And that was the cannibal shot, the original cannibal shot. Um, I used to do so well on them. I had them in all the different sort of shapes and sizes and colors and whatever. And um, I, they were just they were always my go-to. Um, I think they were for quite a few people because they were quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of shops and things that would have stocked them back in the day. And uh, and as I said, rightly so because they they're awesome. So these are the new ones. There is quite a few of them. Um, there's quite a few other colors and sizes and shapes, but these are the ones that I have today. Um, I believe these are the twelve and a half centimeter ones. I think. So we're going to do a bit of jig fishing for for the pike today. Um, you know. 12 gram, 12.5 gram jig heads, I'm going to be using it on a 10 to 35 gram rod and uh, yeah, just a bit of fun really, gonna, I've got, you can see the sun's just starting to set behind me I want to spend an hour just before it gets dark, casting the jigs around, getting the, getting the, to see how these things really go um, they're awesome colours, completely different to what the, the what they were previous and uh, yeah, I'm excited to get going, as I said, they've been a firm favourite of mine for many years, let's see if the new ones can uh, can live up to the, the legend. Okay, let's get out to the edge. So this is the one I'm gonna go for first. I don't know the actual name of it, but it's like a like a clear, clear roachy colour pattern. The water's really clear and uh, which is why I don't really particularly want to go for a a high viz colour straight away. So I'm fishing it on a, as I said 12.5 gram jig head. The rod, you've seen this many times, it's the SGS2, 10 to 35 gram, 7 foot 3, and it is my go-to for lots and lots and lots of different types of fishing, but for, for jig fishing like this, it's perfect. Thick backbone, nice flexible tip on it, which gives it plenty of, plenty of action. And I just find it really, really nice to use when I'm jig fishing. So, let's check the drag. Drag's fairly tight. It's quite pleasant being in this wee lake when it's not windy. A good few times I've been down here and the wind would actually blow the head clean off you. So what I really like about these cannibal shots is you don't actually need to fish them in this style the way I am, you know, the the sort of sink and draw and the jig method or whatever you want to call it. Um, effectively, as it is a shad, it's a big shad with a big paddle tail, and if you really wanted to, you know, you can set them up where you can just literally cast them and reel them in, and that big paddle tail will do all the work for you. And they're really effective that way as well. You can see it coming in. Look at the tail wobbling that. It's awesome. Really, really nice bait. So you can chop and change your retrieve. You know, if you wanted to without jigging it, you could just cast out and reel like that. And obviously with the 12 and a half gram jig head on it, it's going to sink quite quick. You know, if you were looking to fish it that way, I would, I would have it a bit lighter. Maybe 6 grams, something like that. From memory this lake it's about 8 to 12 foot give or take in and around the middle and things like that so it's probably just about the right weight for this style it's nice to get back on the lures again as well after dead baiting for quite a bit of time over the colder months, starting to heat up a wee bit now, which is, as I said, quite pleasant. Not having to wrap yourself up in all your thermals and big coats and all sorts of stuff, just to get out and not freeze to death.
give it one or two more casts and then I'm just going to keep moving around it, make sure I'm covering as much water as possible. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's off. Oh, <laughs> he came off. Ah, uh, so you see that was prime example of one of the reasons I use the high vis line, especially for this style of fishing. It was the line I seen going, not the actual the feel of it or the top of it or anything at all like that. So as I'm jigging one, two, three like that, the line starts to go flat again as it goes on the bottom. And then if it shoots out, you know there's a fish that's just lifted it, and that's what it was. Unfortunately, we just just didn't get a good hook up. But that's one of the important reasons to use uh, your high vis. You don't necessarily have to, I just like it for for that. It's not everybody's cup of tea. I know people like sticking with their dark greens and whatnot. Get out to the water in the edge without falling in. So this is the colour I've went for. So it's a bit of dark and High vis, I suppose. See how that goes. That's a fish. <laughs> I was just bringing that back in to recast it and he nailed that on the straight retrieve, just like I said. Only a wee one. But it doesn't matter. He is our first fish of the session. Come on, I just want to get your picture tucked. There we go, right, the scissors. Hardly even hook at all, to be honest. Cannibal shad, catching pike for many years. Happy days, we're off and running. Another four or five of them in the next hour, and I'll be over the moon. They don't always have to be big. a lot of weeds here might struggle but as I was walking around the lake I seen bird feathers all scattered all over the place some sort of bird had been mauled by something as I kept walking there was a big pile of scales off a of fish and then as I kept walking again another pile of scales so there's something in here that's eating the Inhabitants of the lake, mink or an otter or something. It's not a big lake, would not take very long in wiping it out. There we go, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted, and that's a slightly bigger pike too. It's crazy, I actually seen the 
the bait fish go there before before the pike hit. But obviously they've all scattered just as he decided to have a go at it. Awesome. Oh, has he done me? Is he still on? Is he off? Oh, he done me. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure he's got to see that anyway. <sighs> but it works. I'm going to move to another lake now for the last bit of light. After seeing all of those scales and the, the bird feathers and stuff, I just have a horrible feeling that a lot of the fish in here have been eaten. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move to another one. I have a tiny bit of daylight left and hopefully we get another fish but at least we almost got a decent one there okay last spot we're seriously running out of daylight but it is a good bit deeper in this part of the lake anyway so the the 12.5 gram jig head will probably be a lot more beneficial here than than the other spot rocks here and there on this lake too though so just need to be careful I don't get stuck in those Oh, right under my feet. Right under my feet. <laughs> well, they seem to want the retrieve instead of the actual jigging motion, so that could be that could be the way to do it just for the the remainder of the session. Uh, he's certainly not a monster, but he's a fish. right under my feet, actually scared the life out of me. Okay, so I think that's going to be the way to do it. As I said, I would have preferred a lighter jig head on than 12 and a half gram, just for a straight retrieve, because I would like to reel it in slightly slower, but what can you do? You can't always have it your own way. Okay, last cast, and then I want to go home. Because I need to get back to the car. I don't want to be hiking across fields in the dark. So come on, Pike. This is your chance. Big, massive Pike. Who wants to be on the camera? And that, that's what we wanted. <laughs> oh, I called it last cast. Last cast. <laughs> oh, he came off. No. No. Uh, then my sunglasses came off and I had to get them in the water. And look, my sleeve's soaking. <laughs> right, I'm going home. Stuff this. Stuff you, Pike. That was by far the best one we've hooked that was a good solid fish oh dear 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 soaked arm no big pike anyway right that's it gonna call it quits thank you for tuning in as always 
don't forget to like and subscribe bear in mind there's going to be lots of good videos coming very soon both on this channel and the savage gear channel i think we're going to do a trolling one with big lures ryan's going to do the video one as usual um so keep your eye out for that in three weeks time i'm going to be going over to birmingham taking the boat over to the to the big boat show which is called sbs boat life um it's going to be awesome there's lots of big brands there suzuki um all are going to be there remarine the full works so keep your eye out for that that's going to be a bit of a journey i have to tow the boat across on my own so it's not overly excited about that part but the boat show itself should be excellent so as i said thanks for tuning in don't forget to subscribe it certainly means a lot and we'll see you on the next one right so i went and had a look in the bag and i found a seven gram jig head and i'm going to go for a high vis one here too this is not my usual go-to colours but I may as well give something different to go as I said the 7 gram jig here then I'll be able to slow down the retrieve a lot more I felt with that 12 gram 12 and a half gram should I say I was having to reel very very fast and the water temperature is still quite cool so the chances are you know, the fish aren't always going to chase at that speed, at least with the slower one here. I definitely feel I've got a much better chance. In theory. But as I said, they might not want the watermelon coloured lure either. It certainly stands out, I know that much.